So I'm so excited to have you join me today in my budding craft room. Um, so this is a spare room in our house that used to be a foster room and is now an addiction room of my soaps. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I might like making soap. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um, but what is really exciting is we have done so well with our soap. It's been amazing. Um, so we actually sell it at two stores right now. We have a market coming up this weekend. Uh, if you like dogs, I really hope that you would join us there. It's going to be a crazy event. Bring your dogs, which is amazing. Get a demo massage. Buy some subs. Um, so basically what I want to show you here is some of the products that we have. Um, these are all made with goat milk soap except for three types, which are vegan, because we wanted to make sure that our vegan friends had an option for a luxurious soap without the plastic. Um, and I actually can't say enough about my soap. It's ridiculous. I get so excited when someone brings it up at work. Um, I'm selling at work. Dean's selling it at his work. Um, we have some friends that buy some as well, and we're branching out into new opportunities, but I won't jinx it and talk about it yet. Um, so, welcome to my soap. So, um, this is our label here. It's super plain, as you can tell. You might be wondering why we chose this. Um, and it is basically so that we have no plastic. It is biodegradable. You can throw this in your compost. Everything is all natural, including our packaging. Um, so, it's, and it's cute. It's a little band. Um, so we moved from that, from our jackets. Um, the jackets were a little bit more labor intensive and you didn't get to see the soaps. Um, you know, and, and colorful. So this is a sangria. Mm, they smell so nice. Um, and we're trying out a lot of new scents and most of these scents are a one-time option so there are 10 bars of that scent and that's it i may never be able to get these scents again so if there's any that you're interested in buy them um, so there's a couple that i definitely want to point out that are that i'm super excited about um this on fancy looking one you know, it doesn't look appetizing or beautiful. Oh my god, it smells like orange cream and sickle. Like, like it is 100% orange cream sickle. Don't eat it, but it is amazing. Like, it's so true to the scent. Um, this one might actually be my favorite. So you can see the moisture's coming out. So that's part of the curing process. So this one... Is Hawaiian hibiscus, and I'm so in love with this scent, it's crazy. Um, and this will be at the event as well. We have blueberries, so some of our things are going to have little embeds on them, um, you know, and some different designs. Not everyone's the same. Hopefully, you don't fall in love with a pattern because I cannot replicate them, most likely. Um, but we also have a few bars that are going to be really just that much more extra for your skin. So this is, let me get a clear slice one too. Um, so this is oatmeal, milk, and honey. And it just looks so shimmery and gold. It's very pretty. Now this has ground oatmeal in it, which is really good. It's really nourishing. Helps with itch, sensitive skin, and exfoliates. So you can't really get much better than that. This is an amazing bar. Um, also will be available. All of our bars are $6.00. They're quite big bars. They're going to last you a long time. Um, I am so pleased with this one. This is the weirdest bar that you're ever going to see. And it still holds true. This is a gardener soap. This is poppy seed for exfoliant. And this is wonderful on your skin to get any dried skin off or, or any dirt. So it's a gardener's one because when you're out in the garden, you get full of dirt. You want to get this stuff off. This is really good for it. And it's Scent of a tomato leaf. Sounds really weird. Oh my god, this is amazing. It is so fresh and fabulous that I really hope if you have a gardener in your life, you really need to buy the soap. They will love you forever. Um, you can also use this soap as a nice little gift package. Uh, get a terracotta pot bottom and put this on and you will be set. 
Um, but our soaks are not even all of it, which is kind of crazy. So these here, these beautiful tins, are actually paw balm. So, and you can use this on your on yourself as well. I have one that I touched already. So this one here. So you would just rub it. And it's so natural. So you can put it on your dog's skin. This one scented rosemary. Rosemary actually repels fleas, which is super nice. Um, and then there's also lavender for calming and non-scented. Um, this you can also use on yourself. So if you have really cracked hands or feet, you'd also be able to share your product with your pet, which is exciting. We also have our hard bubble bath. Um, so what this is, um, if you go to Lush, you may have seen these. They're outrageously expensive. Ours are not. Um, they are $4.50 for these. And all you do is when you're in the tub, I will grab a gross one. So here's this one. You would have it and under the water, you would just crumble it and then mix it. And it creates the most amazing bubbles. No packaging, no plastic, no chemicals, all natural. Fabulous. These bubbles will outlast you in the bathtub. So it's quite exciting. Then this little gimmicky thing. Now we don't have all the eggs in here. So what we do for a 12 pack, we have a blue egg, a green egg, a brown egg, a dark brown egg, and a white egg. And each one has a different scent. And these here are just bath bombs. So your regular traditional bath bombs, but they are actually um, called whatever the chicken is. So, you know, Moran, Red Island Red, Isbar. Um, so it's kind of neat if you have a chicken lover to get them a carton of eggs. And then, I know, it's like, oh, we're totally done, but we're not. So, my hands are gross now. This is for me and Dean. So, body butters. So, body butters are a very, very, uh, they're kind of an oily lotion. Um, so, not watery like you would buy. And it's solid at room temperature, so you just take some. I got bubble bar. And now it's my, it's gonna look a little bit more greasy just because of what is on my hands from all these, and it's mm, amazing. This is Hawaiian bum bum. I don't know what that is, but it smells really nice. I can smell it from here. It smells amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't open it because my hands are greasy. Anyway, I can't open it. This one here, I was just testing. I wanted to see if the colorant would stain skin or not. Um, it does give a little shine to it, but this is a natural colorant, and this one is for men, and Dean uses it too, and really like the feel of it on his skin. Um, I don't know if anyone can actually sell a product like Dean, the surprise in his voice, and just the like, oh my god, you gotta try this, is, is actually really fun. So, can't wait for you guys to come down and see all of our soaps this weekend at Ace It. Um, yeah, it's 10 to 4, I believe. Free admission, donation to Elder Dog, and you'll be able to pick up any of our soaps. If you can't make it, let us know. $6 a bar. There's always so many things to choose from. You will have a hard time. Welcome to my addiction. How is this <laughs> for a new hobby? <laughs> and I only just got started. Only just got started, she says. Because we have taken out. Just so people know, this is a, a party-sized table that these are sitting on. Mm -hmm. And we've already taken a 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 80 bars to Walker's, um, which is a feed store in Cole Harbor. Go say hello to them. They're fantastic. I love them. Um, we've also put some bars in at Preserving Tradition, so there's about 40 bars there, um, and then we're branching out, so there's a few other places that may have our stuff, which is very exciting. So you'll be able to purchase direct or through stores, um, and if you're interested in having them in your business, let us know, because we do wholesale. So anyway, come smell my soap, buy my soap, maybe pet a goat, buy the soap. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.